Good morning and welcome to the top story for the best day of the week this Friday. And um, as of 8.30 this morning, one of the top stories that we've been uh, looking at and following uh, with regards to weather specifically yesterday and some of the damage that was done, PU PUC crews are out working on the few remaining customers without power this morning as of 8.30. That's the latest bulletin we received. There are about 30 customers without power due to some storm damages. These customers are expected to be restored by the end of the day though. The PUC would like to remind you this is important because I think that in a situation like this we are we sort of let our instincts take over and they want to remind you that if you have any loose branches that have fallen onto power lines or if you have any other safety concerns to so please contact them. Their phone number is 759-6500 and they apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused and wish to thank you for your continued understanding and and cooperation. Now with regards to um, what we're going to talk about today following that story, uh, the film industry here in Sault Ste. Marie, um, it's always so exciting and people, there's a buzz in town when you find out that there's a, a film being uh, shot here in Sault Ste. Marie. To talk to us a little bit more about that and how her job is specifically going to bring tons of movie stars to Sault Ste. Marie. No pressure, Jennifer. <laughs> uh, we're talking live this morning to Jennifer Mathewson, who's with Future Sault Ste. Marie and Film, Television and Digital Coordinator. How are you? I am great. Thank good. you for having me. Thank this you. is so fantastic to, to be here. Yes. Um, tell us about your experience. How did you end up in a job like this? Well, uh, it started... Many years ago, I went to school. When I got out of high school, I uh, started in sound engineering. And from there, I got experience doing a little bit of the uh, post-sound Foley work and kind of piqued my interest. But when I came back to the Sioux, I couldn't get a job in that mm. field. So it was very difficult. But um, then a little hope came through with the Sioux College film program. Um, when they introduced that program, I was like, I have to be in this program. So, this is for me. <laughs> yes, this is, this is right up my alley. This is what I want to do. So I got to be in that film program, which gave me the experience of working on feature films during my time in the school. And from there, I was able to work on productions. And that's what I've been doing for the past five years is working for feature films and television series. And then this opportunity came up and it's an opportunity for me to combine two of my loves, which is film and television, as well as Sault Ste. Marie, so. And you know what, as a young person, it's, it's awfully um, inspiring to see you stay here at home, stay in the Sioux, yes. just because you plain old love the Sioux. Oh, I do. And you know what, and it's not just me, it's the crews that work here in the Sioux. You know, they want to retain their permanent residence as being Sault Ste. Marie, and they want to have more films brought in, and it's, it's great for me to be able to to pull these films to the community. So. That's so awesome. It's just, you know what, it's interesting. I'm just double-checking my mic here, Jen. Sorry about that. Um, it's interesting because I think that, like I said, there's always this big buzz when there's a film company yes. in town and, oh, I wonder what the movie is going to be about. And then people watch the movie to, to check out the backgrounds and, oh, I know that house and I know that. <laughs> yeah. Like it's so, it's such a positive all the way around. The community's invested into it. They and really are. Yeah. It's, it's like we get a chance to show ourselves off a little bit, I and think. Definitely. And it goes a long way. You, you see producers, uh, we've had a lot of repeat producers. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, Allison Black, uh, Nathan Morlando, David Gordy, and Joan Carwigan, they've constantly filmed here. Um, and when they go and do their press afterwards, that's one thing they say. It's our film family, it's Sault Ste. Marie. It's the community that, that's there. That's what draws us back to. That's so film. awesome. Yeah, and you know what, just doing this for a living, um, I, I think I feel like I can understand it a little bit because not everybody can or wants to do this um, for a living. Um, so you do, you get really close to the people that you work with. Yes, definitely. It's definitely a, a film family and, and that's one thing now in this position that I can advocate for my film family and make sure that we have those jobs here in the community. You know, there's no reason that our film crews, Sault Ste. Marie has, for people who don't know, they mm -hmm. have over a hundred people that are actively working in the industry just in film and television alone. That's not including people that are like, on TV right. that are hired here mm -hmm. and other different outlets that hire people on a regular basis but specifically film and television we have over a hundred crew in Sault Ste. Marie that are actively working in the industry and a lot of them have had to go out of town to work on shows and you know we want to keep them here. Sure. We, we want to make sure that Sault Ste. Marie 
provides these jobs for them. So, you know, for us to be able to advocate for them is, is this great opportunity. It's a great, how long have you been with Future SSM? I've been there for two years now, or two years, <laughs> two months now. Oh, you're yeah. brand new. Yeah, yeah brand new. new but, awesome. Uh, so it's a big learning curve, mm -hmm. um, but it's doing what I love. And, you know, to see now that the community has supported the industry for so long. So since 2004, has, we've seen an increase in film production. Mm -hmm. And now seeing the community supporting that industry, well, now it's great to see the city is supporting that industry and they see the benefits of this industry. And that's great. Like you look at feature films, for example, like people don't realize what a feature film brings into a community. Mm -hmm. Like the number of people that are employed on these shows locally, not only that, the people that they bring into the community to work in other areas that we can't yet fill. Um, these people are staying at our local hotels. Like the last film that shot here, they had 450 hotel nights at a local That's hotel. Phenomenal. And that was only a small duration. That was from August to September. So they're staying at our hotels. They're eating at our local restaurants. They're visitors within the community. And you take a full feature film and that ingests approximately a million dollars into the community. And That's there's 550,000 indirect spend that comes from these productions. So we're on average about two films a year. So mm -hmm. if we can bump that number up, we're going to see the economic impacts. We're going to see expansion in jobs and infrastructure within the community. So it's going to be a win all the way How around. How many do you think we can handle a year if we're doing about two? We've, in the past, we've handled six. Wow, uh, so, really? Yeah, we've had six films a year. Can we do more? Definitely. We can That's build so the infrastructure awesome. to support these industries and that'll come hand in hand. So the more we build the infrastructure, the more films that come, the more people will want to invest into the industry. So how do you go about letting people in the industry know that, yep, Sault Ste. Marie is open for business? Well, that's a matter of reaching out to them. So I've I started doing, uh, the city sent me to SimFest. So I got to have a presence there and communicate with the different producers and network with the industry professionals. Um, so that was a great opportunity for me and they have more lined up for for me to be able to network but also I have a lot of network um, people from working on the films in the past, past projects. so I have this network that I've already built and you know we have a lot of people in the community like Candace Day from the film program mm -hmm. as well as Rosalie Chalelli who's a local producer and these people have a lot of contacts as mm -hmm. well so it's it's bridging all these connections together and we're all going to support each other because we all want to see Sault Ste. Marie grow in this industry. Absolutely and you know what as on TV that's part of our mandate too we want to see local come back to yes. Sault Ste. Marie. So it's awesome to hear about projects like this. I, I remember t uh, interviewing Rosalie years ago. Yes. <laughs> and then now you're in the, and I feel like when you said there were six that you did in one year, I feel like I didn't know about that. Was there a no. lapse? In, in the movie development industry? I think what it has been, it, it contributes to the fact that a lot of people, like there was a rush of people at one point and the numbers kind of dwindled down and I think that was more towards um, not focusing on advertising the community. Ah. So in the past, the EDC has been phenomenal for supporting films. They have really rolled out the red carpet when it came to films. And, but that was what they did was support the films while they were there. There was right. nobody else to network for the city. There was nobody else to go out to these communities. To wave our flag. To say, hey, we're yeah. here. We want to support films and, you know, we want to roll out the red carpet for you to right. come here. So, Absolutely. so now we have that position thanks to the city that with the community adjustment committee's report, they wanted to have a focus on this and we're able to, through Future Sault Ste. Marie, to put that out there now we are here we're open for business and we're going to be the ones advocating for the community that's so awesome because everybody every community i think needs an advocate and the fact that you have such um, a passion for it i can tell <laughs> just by by watching you when you talk about it your your face just lights right up it does and with your experience coupled with that passion i mean the sky's the limit it is and you know we're gonna we're in a good position people keep saying to me you know do you think the city's a little behind and mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, and yeah. you know what we're not you know yeah areas like uh sudbury north bay are more advanced than we are right now 
but we're getting into it we're at a good time. Them. We're in on it in a time where people are binge watching. Like this is the binge watching era. Uh -huh. And there's more content being created now than there ever has been. So with that, and places like Sudbury and North Bay, they've had so much film. Their locations mm -hmm. aren't as original now. So we're coming into it like when it's really booming mm -hmm. and we have this landscape that it could suit a variety of different films. Absolutely. And now we can say, hey, come film here. We yeah. haven't been filmed as much as these other communities. Yeah. We're, still we're, we're ready and yeah. we want we have a film friendly community our community has been very supportive of this industry and now we have the city backing that up mm -hmm. so it, it's a great position to be in and we're coming in a, at the perfect time perfect and, timing yeah and timing's it, it's all about it's that, everything isn't yeah. it yeah. yes um if somebody watching you know somebody that you you've indicated there's so many talented people in sault st marie somebody watching may may have a connection um, can they give you a call? If Definitely. They, yeah. I want to be, I want to run this, like this film office is nice because I have the foundation that has been established from the EDC, mm -hmm. but I'm able to build it now to better suit the productions as well as the community. Because so, that's what you know. And exactly. And I just, when I was in Sudbury, one of the things that kind of struck me was that the municipality didn't have the connection to the crew. And, ah. and I find that even with the actors and the crew, like there was there was no connection there. And I want to be an office that supports all areas. So I want to support the actors. I want to support the crew members and I want to support the productions. And I want to grow these businesses that want to invest in the community. And so with this position, I have that opportunity now That's to so build awesome. it. That's so awesome. That's so exciting. Well, you know what? I think it'll take you about a minute and a half to book your first movie. <laughs> but when you do, please come back and see us. Yes, I'd love definitely. to talk about it. Yes. And yeah. have a great time. Thank you. Thank you. Know, you. Thanks great. for taking time. I know how busy you are. Appreciate it. <laughs> no, it's great. Thank you. We are going to be right back with more Top Story coming up on this Friday morning right after this.